uh, I've been like watching the news lately for the past couple of weeks and uh, we have some talking to do. I live in a constant state of fear and misery. primarily watches the news or likes the news but uh, I've in, I'm in Fort Farm and basically my, one of my teacher told me that uh, you have to start watching news you have to get involved in what's happening around you and everything because maybe they'll ask you an examination question and so just so I got interested I, I did it and my outcome of that was that it's fucking depressing uh, these are basically what I learned during the news. It's either someone got killed, someone got murdered, someone got raped, and someone got um, some someone stole it or something like that. And only 90% of that is all about news. Then the next 10% is either someone like advertising something or someone headlining something or something like just positive. So let's just put 5% positive. That's 90% of what everyone watches is bad news. But yet, oh, boo, Jonathan, it's great. We should keep up to the... Well, first of all, first of all, they don't primarily tell us what's happening around us. They only tell us what's happening in the bad side because that's how we get addicted to things. We get addicted to the news due to something in our brains. I'm not so sure what it's called. I forgot. That always stays on the bad side to keep us safe, to keep our instinct alive. So... When you watch news like this, 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 and all this, for don't for try to remember there's news also like this, 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 and this. But you don't you don't see news like that. You see news like someone got killed, someone got murdered, someone got betrayed, and someone got killed. That's someone stole this amount of money from this person, and the police are still investigating it. Ah. I can go right now, I guarantee I can go right now to my local um, local news channel and the first headline, the first thing is either murder, kill, rape or stole, stolen. I'll guarantee you that, I'll guarantee you that. Channel 5 news. I guarantee it. Boom. Retired B, uh, boom. Another case of alleged police brutality in Belize. The only reason news always stay bad is because, first of all, it wants you to get addicted to the news. It wants you to keep viewers in, it wants to keep viewers reminded that there's badness in the world. Because people won't stay alert, people won't continue watching news if there's all goodness. But yet, for some reason, when there's all badness, people want to watch more, people want to know more, especially for debates, especially for uh, politics, especially for fighting, like who was right, who was wrong, and everything. That's basically what our kind is. We want to like be alert, we want to be safe, we want to be protected so we don't see that. But, if, but you have to remember that, despite what the news says, we are living in the safest time recorded in history. There's back in the days, uh, in, in the early in the early 17th centuries, people would light up cuts. They would they would net, they would grab a bunch of cuts, put them in a net, and set it on fire. And that was their form of entertainment. That was their form of entertainment. But now we don't do that. We have things like Netflix. We have things like hanging out with friends. We have things like walking. We have things like going to the sea. And but yet, for some reason, we all for some reason the news always states that we are at the bad times. We are not at the bad times. If you go to any research history, any recorded statistics on today's generation and next generation, we are at the safest time in lives. Uh, this generation, but not this generation is. Fine, this generation is peaceful, it's kind. And I think people should actually start should watch it yourself and see it yourself. Instead of letting other people tell it to them or show them the bad side of the world. Let's let's see the good side of the world for once. 
So Chick Squad, that's all I want to tell. That's all I want to get off my chest today. Uh, I was, I'm working on a very special video. And it's going to come out either Monday or Sunday. And I hope you guys are going to like it. Other than that, you guys, good night. Goodbye. Bang. Thank you for everything.